public speaking for me is something that I used to get so nervous about, yeah. but I love it. And when I finish, you know, when you finish, yes, you always feel, you're like, just like, oh, oh, you feel so fulfilled yeah. and happy. And, and you, you know, it's, it's also a way to be able to speak to like a bigger yes. room of people and, and help them really feel good. Right. Which is, if I come back to my personal value, it's really, really important yeah. to me. And that makes me really nervous. And so I always have this thought before I'm about to do it of, oh my God, who do I think I am? Like imposter syndrome, you know, no one's going to care what I have to say. Why am I doing this? And I want to pull out. But then I think to myself, if I pull out, I'm just going to stay in my comfort zone mm. for my entire life. Yes. And if we stay in our comfort zones, we're not living a life for ourselves. We're living a life for other people because, and no one, like it, it, someone might say you're a shit public speaker or whatever, or you might want to start a business and they might say, Oh, for example, when we started our podcast, people would write, you, you and Steph, you know, you should just stay in your lane. You, you're really, really good at running kick, yeah. but you're not, you don't really know how to interview. So maybe <laughs> you should just not do it. And that's truly people, if you yeah. go back long, far enough, yes. you see that in our reviews. And I remember reading that and thinking, obviously it's, it's kind of a pretty toxic thing to write on someone's thing. Like imagine if when you first start anything, you expect to be the best at it. Yeah. But then if I, we had taken that comment and thought, you know what, we, and I like talking for myself, couldn't, I did not know how to interview people. It is really hard yes. and it's taken it's time, right? It is, it is, it is really, yeah. really hard. And a lot of it I think is innate as well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I, I think like we had a little bit of it. you're or you're not. And then there's a whole bit you can learn. Exactly. On how to make, kind of master the art. And we hadn't had that learning because we hadn't, it's like yes. no one, you don't expect to make the AFL or, you know, play in the NBA if yeah. you've never played basketball or football before, you know, you have to. To, you have to have time to practice. Practice makes you better. Absolutely. And so if we had have listened to that comment and thought, you know what? They're right. We should just stay to what we're doing. We wouldn't be doing the podcast now. And it's something that brings us so much joy. And mm. we've improved every single year is, you know, we've practiced and practiced and practiced. And so I think that's what helps me is going back to that, that I've got this comment here. And it's like when imposter syndrome comes into my head and says like, oh, should you be doing this? You know, you're not good enough or all those things that we all have that come into our head. Yes. I can listen to it and not do anything and just, you know, keep doing what I'm doing. And then I'll have, I, I think about like my life so far, I've, I'm 30. I've still got so many years to live. I don't want to just live in the same comfort zone that I've, yeah. you know, that, that would be such a sad life knowing there's nothing new and exciting yes. and, and ways to grow and challenge myself. I think it's amazing that we evolve every single day we're on this planet, but I could listen to it or I could, you know, I say to myself, okay, thank you, imposter syndrome, like for telling me that this is scary or that I haven't done it before or it's going to be hard. I literally will say out loud, thank you for coming. I, I know you're trying to protect me, but I don't want to say my comfort zone. So, and yes. I just put it aside. So if I'm going to do a talk, a public talk, I'll like literally in my head kind of, it's almost like the, the with manifestation yeah. what we're talking about. I say, okay, I'm going to leave that on the side of the stage and I'm going to go out there and, and I'm going to do my best. And what's, what's the worst that, that would happen? Well, that's it. And that's such a, I remember hearing that years ago. What is the worst that's going to happen? The worst thing that can happen is that you die. That's true. <laughs> that's very true. It's morbid but true. <laughs> You're not going to die yeah, giving exactly right. a speech. Yeah. You hope not. Like, yeah. you know, the, the percentage chance of you dying Unless giving you're a speech. Unless you but yeah. <laughs> exactly. Is so low. Yes. And so when you actually put it into perspective, you're like, I've got this. Mm. And the same, exactly what you were saying, the more you do it, the more you get better at it. And when I, you know, studying the unknown has been a big part of my work. When we're in the known, we're in the stale repetition of our past, our mm. worn memories, right? Because we're doing the same thing every day. So what we're doing is just from what we remember from the day before, from mm. the day up before that and so forth. When we step into the unknown, we step into the field of all possibilities. And that's how we create from the unknown, not from the known. Mm. And I just think that, you know, that that whole idea of not being in your comfort zone and taking that leap. I mean, if you reflect on your life, how many things have brought you joy from when you've leapt? So many. You know, even for me doing this podcast has brought me so much joy. And that's, you know, like you, I hadn't done really much. I mean, yes, I've been a producer and I mm. taught people how to interview. So I had those skills, but at the same time, I just gave it a go and it worked out. And yes, sometimes every things don't work out, but we learn from them. If we're mm. in the known, we become bored and miserable. It's that comfort zone mm. where it's like, okay, we're comfortable. We're comfortable being miserable and complaining day. about mm. our life. But when we go out of the box, 
it's like, whoa, that was scary, but man, that was so cool. (laughs) And look what I've achieved from doing that. So I think it's, Mm. yeah, it's so pertinent in living a joyful life and a fruitful life is really Mm. taking that next step that might seem scary. When you get there, you realize it's not so bad. And then the next step opens for you and then the next and the next, but it won't unless you open that door yourself.